New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ebro in the Morning. Beautiful Lord Styles, Rosenberg, and Chloe and Hallie. Holly. Haley. Hallie. You got it. Hallie. You got it. Right. It is Hallie. Hallie. All right. Wow, cool. it's amazing. You have no idea. This man's been saying, this man's been calling Halle Berry Holly Berry since I met him. Wow. So, it's happening, man. This is a wow. good step for him. I'm doing yeah, good. Wow. So, Excellent. but the H A L L E is yes. universally Hallie. 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 Yeah. Got it. You know, made, made famous by. Halle, Halle Berry, Halle yeah. Berry. Yeah. which why I don't know why you read it and can't do it. It's <laughs> I'm trying. so I'm not a work. It's a it's work in right. progress, guys. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, you guys are amazing. Thank um, you very much. And um, you know, I'm just getting into the album currently. I remember the the tapes that came out, but I got to be honest, I didn't get into them. Oh, yeah. Just because yeah. I was like, oh, it's, they're cute, they're uh -huh. amazing. Like I didn't think it was for me. Yeah. But yeah. this album, I saw Joey Badass on it, and I was yeah. like. This might be for me. <laughs> and Gold Link and, and Carrie Fowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, and I want to I wanna kind of understand, because your path, both of you, has always been to be at this place in entertainment, it seems, right? Yeah. You were in movies young? Yes, we both were. Like, I fit, my first role was when I was, like, four years old, and it was in the movie Fighting Temptations, and I played Beyonce's younger role. And then my sister and I, we did some Tyler Perry stuff, and then yeah. music <laughs> kind of came along and took over. Mm -hmm. um, did you meet Beyonce then? Yes. And so did that relationship stay, and that's how this happened, or no? Um, no, we kind of mm -hmm. didn't really keep in touch. And then it was so funny how later, like, 12 years mm -hmm. later, it came back full circle, how... You know, she wanted to end up signing us. Did like, she remember you? Chloe? After she saw the photo, and it was crazy because it was like a full circle universe. Right, moment, right, right. You know, the signs were like so into signs and symbolism, so it was pretty cool. But talk yeah. about how you guys did. It was a pretty hurts. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and how yeah, all of a sudden she it, she posted on her Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. So we had been doing YouTube covers for a while, mm -hmm. and you know this one in particular, we noticed started to get a lot more viral than usual. Mm -hmm. We were like, oh, that's cool. And then her team reached out to us, and they were like, can we post this on all our socials? And they asked, are you guys signed? And we were like reading what? into it, like, why are they asking yeah. us if we're signed? They don't need to know that. To they don't need it. to know that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> they didn't even really need to ask. Yeah, like, it, kind of. Exactly. <laughs> a repost ain't that hard. Exactly. And then like two days later, we found out that she wanted to sign us, and mm -hmm. we got to meet with her a couple of times. And then it just started that whole mentorship and uh, guidance from her and us learning basically just how to construct our music. But the reason I ask about the film and television is yeah. at a very young age, clearly your parents either saw your interests mm -hmm. or talents. Mm -hmm. Is that how it played out? Absolutely. We have such a supportive family and like they just saw the fire and light in our eyes whenever we were doing entertainment in any way, whether it was like music or acting or theater, they just saw it in us and we love them so much for helping guide our dreams. And I remember our very first like performance together, we were at this college summer camp. I was seven and my sister was five and it was at Spelman <laughs> and it was so much fun for us and it just kind of grew from there and it's crazy how life works out. So. Talk about being self-sufficient because I read that yeah. your dad was really about that, your mm -hmm. family yeah. was, and how you guys learned how to play instruments by yourselves by watching YouTube clips. Yeah. yeah, so that's always been a theme in our family. Like, they've always taught us that we can do anything that we put our minds to, and it's always been like a theme, like, figure it out. We'd go ask them, like, oh, can we get a guitar teacher? They'd be like, nope, figure, figure it, out it out yourself. <laughs> and, you know, that really helped us grow as young women, and, um, just learning how to be self-sufficient. You know, we executive produced this album. My sister is an amazing producer. We wrote all of the songs on the album. That's amazing. And we just feel like it's kind of needed just to have that ownership in your art. And yes. um, it's just a freedom for us. I kind of want to interview your parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm 43, I'm a dad. So I'm listening to you guys talking. I'm like, yo, I need to know those yeah. points where he had to like either be really strong with you and guide you a certain way yeah. or go to war, you know, because as parents, you pick your battles, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, all right, we're going to war over this. They're not going <laughs> to like it, but I don't care. We're going to go yeah. to war. Yeah. Do you remember those moments where there were certain things that your parents were like, you were convinced this is what we need to do. Yeah. And your dad or mom were like, absolutely not. And it was just, the wheels yeah. came off. Well, there's this, I feel like in our whole life, our parents always pushed us towards greatness. And like, if we thought we couldn't do it, they'd be like, yes, you can. And there's yeah. this really funny story when my sister was five. Yeah, when I was five, um, yeah. I had a presentation in my kindergarten class and <laughs> you were supposed to get up and just say like a sentence about this person you were given. So I was given Maya Angelou and it was funny because I told my dad, I was like, oh, I got to do this project. I got to say a sentence in front of the class. And he was like, okay, cool. I want you to read this whole poem 
by her and he gave it to me and it was phenomenal woman and it was like eight pages long and he was like <laughs> memorize it okay and then you're gonna do that in front of the class and I was like okay and I never did it right the day before the presentation he comes to me and he's like so did you memorize it let's hear and I'm like no I didn't do anything so he's like okay you're gonna stay up all night you're gonna learn this you're not gonna go to bed until it's in your head and then you're gonna present it at the class so that's what I did. I was five. I was sitting there. And, I and how'd you do? I she did great. Great. I went up there. I was so nervous. I was so embarrassed in front of my friends. But I did it. And it's a great video see, now. now. And the reason I ask is, right, yeah. I can see my guy Rosenberg sitting right here like, <laughs> hey, your dad was going to ruin you by doing that, putting that kind I, of pressure I would call on CPS. you. <laughs> in fact, I'm still considering. How, you're 17? Yeah. Right. I'm 18 well, now. That's, oh, you are, <laughs> mom, well, too but late. see, but that's that story, right? We live in a time yeah. where some parents don't want to push their kids, right? Yeah. Or when do you push well, your kids? Well, it's about knowing your kid and that he knew, obviously, that you would respond well yeah. to it and not crack, yeah, even at five. Yeah, he knew that I had that within me that I could do it. Now, right? my question is, were, was there a time in either of your guys' uh, emergence as artists where you had a period of like, I don't know if I want to do this and started going the other direction? You know, that has never happened with my sister and I. We're all about feeling and we never ever like to force anything. So yeah. if something doesn't feel right, we'll absolutely say Just it. Just walk away. And... Yeah, but we're so fortunate that we get to do something that we love and like have it as our career, which is pretty cool to say. Like I pinch myself every day about that, so. So there's no mornings you wake up and you say, I don't wanna do this group anymore. No. I don't wanna make, no. it. it hasn't happened yet. No, no I don't think it'll all. ever happen. No, and cause it, mm -hmm. yeah, it's something that we love to do. And it's basically music is like therapy for us because yeah. it's us just voicing all of our. What about when you're not you getting know? along? They're just sibling. Yeah. Not no, it's getting funny. Along. Of course, we yeah. get into tizzies, mm -hmm. but it's not like she said tizzies. Yeah, <laughs> y'all grew up. <laughs> y'all grew up. They grew up well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. I watch your music videos. Yeah. I was like, I look at the neighborhood behind uh -huh. you guys in a lot of the yeah. videos, and I was like, oh, they got a nice neighborhood. Where's this, <laughs> where they live? Oh man, they came up right. <laughs> Yeah, but, we're from Atlanta, Georgia, and then we moved to L.A. like yeah. five, six years ago. Okay, so you've been uh -huh. in L.A. for a yep. while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because of the entertainment, because of this? Absolutely, yes. And I feel like L.A. is our home now. I learned how to drive there. Yeah. Oh, that's big. I and where it. you yeah. learn how to drive yeah. is is kind of really? yep. where your home is. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So I mean, Atlanta might be in your mentions after this because, you know, they're very they're a very vocal community. Like, yeah, where are y'all trying to leave Atlanta behind? <laughs> <laughs> no, we love ATL. <laughs> Yeah. Can't love both. You got to pick if you what? have to. No, I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not no, going to do that today. I'm not going to do that. Half the entertainment world splits between I Atlanta know. and LA. No, so. you got to pick. <laughs> of course, Atlanta will always be home to yeah. us. Um, yeah. At what point does one become... I know you guys are you grew up in the entertainment business, so meeting celebrities has been normal. Mm -hmm. That being said, Beyonce is not a normal... Cele even by celebrity standards, she makes celebrities freak out. <laughs> so at what point did it become normal to have conversations with Beyonce and just look at her like a a person who cares about you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I remember the first time when we saw her again after we found out we were going to be signed. We were in this like dark warehouse because she was filming something and she was in this beautiful white jumpsuit and she looked like an absolute angel. <laughs> and she is truly a phenomenal woman, you know, not only as a musician, but her good heart and her spirit. And, you know, of course, the first few times we're like, oh, it's Beyonce. Yeah. But, but then after you mm -hmm. kind of just realized, OK, I'm sitting next to a person who genuinely cares about me and is just a regular, beautiful person inside and out and that you know she's just normal and now after after beyonce is there anyone you could meet that would freak you out at this point or is now it's well, like got whatever introduced on stage by michelle obama <laughs> yes they've already opened Def up for beyonce in europe so what is there left <laughs> to do obama. what are we doing out here i mean have you guys met oprah yeah. yeah. Okay. You, see? All right, so. you got who you got on the text right now? No, we're not doing Beyonce. I need to know who else is on the jack. Where you like, yo, Michelle, check this out, fam. Uh, we well, no one ever hit Michelle like that. You can't say check this out, fam, to Michelle. No one's ever said that to her. Barack check. ain't said, yo, check this out, fam. Not unless he wants to sleep on the couch. <laughs> not coming to Michelle like that. <laughs> That's no, hilarious. Do you, so who do you guys? I mean, obviously you had your friends, but in the entertainment world, I've noticed that your music has made. Uh, tremendous leap sonically like and I know you guys are producing and writing so who are you guys working with in that world that's helping you sonically improve uh, just either song structure or just yeah. the way that all the music sounds everything you're doing yeah well what we love about being with Beyonce and Parkwood is that we're given the creative freedom 
So we literally just go into our house in our living room and we'll create for days and days mm -hmm. and days. And then we'll present it. So Beyonce, she'll send her little notes and she'll be like, oh, this or that. And we appreciate that so much, but we're really just given the freedom to do whatever we want. And that is so freeing as an artist because a lot of times there's some artists who aren't that fortunate. Right, you know? Yeah. And so. it's just us in our living room just having fun and mm -hmm. being experimental and throwing out whatever. And if yeah. something fits, then we're like, okay, cool. Yeah, but influence-wise, we're inspired by everything. You know, what the lives we're leading and, you know, growing into womanhood, that's what this whole The Kids Are All Right album is about. And, you know, my sister, she's a big jazz head, and I feel like that's where she gets her beautiful classic melodies from. And I love, like, Imogene Heap and Tune Yards and Grimes. And I love those females who, like, do everything themselves because I think that's something really strong. So, yeah, we get inspired well, by everything. Well, where, why did uh, Carrie Foe come to mind to work with on the album? Why Carrie? Yes. yes. So we had always loved her song, mm -hmm. the two new phones, and I still don't ever call them. So we would follow each other. We're going to get to that other. ratchet talking to me. You saw those shoulders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I was where you saw the shoulders. <laughs> so we followed her on Instagram, and, uh -huh. you know, we just kind of connected over that. And I remember when we were working on our album and we were looking for features, she definitely came up because we were like, well, she's another strong woman, and we want, mm -hmm. you know, a rap perspective on this song that we have. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so then we went yeah. in the studio and created Fake, that's on the album. Yeah, I remember we DM'd her and we were like, yo, we're working in the studio, if you wanna come through? And she was like, sure. And immediately we hit it off once we met. We loved her so much and her producer Malik and that's when we created our song Fake. And it honestly just started from a conversation because we never like to force anything. You don't we were, wanna be fake. Yeah, exactly. See? So Good we point. were talking See? about how like, you know, when you meet some people sometimes and we're so like genuine and bubbly and sometimes people mistake that for being fake. And then that's where the inspiration for the song came from. And she's like, we should write it about that. Mm -hmm. Bam, there's the song. No, they, they have a great life. And people are happy and bubbly when they live a great life and are free to do what they want, create how they want, and own their business. It is funny, though. People do resist that. Like, I, I struggle with that, meeting artists. And if they're, like, always upbeat all the time, mm -hmm. it's kind of a no-win, well, right? Because you're just evil. What? And I hate it. <laughs> and negative. No, that's I don't think that's true. And that was that was really we discussed nasty. that earlier today. That was really nasty what you just said. I'm just pointing out these are just facts. I'm not being I'm fake. I'm keeping it on it. No, um, I I don't find that to be true, but I do find that I'm honest. Yeah. And when you meet someone who's like so happy all the mm -hmm. time, we have a tendency to maybe it's jealousy to just be like, mm -hmm. how, how could they be so happy yeah. all the time? So is that something you've just grown accustomed to? No, absolutely. Um, it's funny because. When I'm with my family and friends, I'm very like honest and at times I come off harsh with my words because I'm so honest. So it's funny because so you're the mean I one. Is what we just learned <laughs> yeah. between the two. A little she's bit. Not, she's not the mean one. Hallie's she's mean. So Who's meaner? <laughs> Is she mean? Are you? I'm definitely. I, she has a good, good heart. Oh, the big sister oh, riding for it. Up, big sister, yeah. big sister like, riding. No, look, look, she's serious no, too. Like not smiling no more. Nothing. It's is real. That we're like yin and yang, and we balance each other out very much. I'm a Cancer. She's an Aries, so I'm very sensitive, and she's like headstrong. Yeah. And like she gives me that, and then I give. Y'all never fought. No, Fist fight? I mean, we, oh, no, 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 no. Push and match? What? A little pull hair? No, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that will ooh, keep our edges. <laughs> Y'all never. So wait. Um, Y'all play dominoes or spades in the house? I uh, run through oh, some things. I used to play dominoes. With okay, us cousins. black. All right, yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> who makes the best mac and cheese in the house? Mac and cheese. We're vegan, We're vegan so we don't. So no, so no mac and vegan cheese. Mac You've and been cheese. vegan your whole life? No. no. Okay. For five years. Yeah. Five mm -hmm. years. So no mac and cheese or vegan mac. And vegan cheese. mac and cheese is, is good. Way. Does yeah. vegan mac and cheese get the little crusty edges and all that still like uh, the yeah. regular mac yeah, and cheese? Yeah, they put like breadcrumbs and mm -hmm. it's not like. The same, the same. There's no yeah. cheese. The, the cheese, yeah. cheese. It's like a yeah. cheese, cheese. Cheese, right? cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Ratchet TV. What are you guys watching? Ooh, Reality okay. TV. What are y'all so, watching? Okay, Love and Hip Hop. Love After Which one? Up. All uh, of them. Miami, New York, Miami, Atlanta. Okay. All right. And Love Ooh. After Lock Up. Little Women of Atlanta. Little Women oh, of that LA. One. Now, that one did look appealing. It's, it's funny. It's so good. It's so good. And then what else do we do? <laughs> I think that's I about like, it. Yeah, and oh, and then we have to throw in Shark Tank in there too. That's little good. business, some yeah, money. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, love yeah. watching Shark Tank. We love. I love Black Mirror too. I know Ooh, yeah. Black yeah. Mirror is amazing. Yes, love and Black Mirror. Handmaid's Tale. I think I phenomenal. Heard that was good. Yeah, yeah. We love Dark mm -hmm. Shows. Oh, it's it's so kind of scary. I haven't watched. You guys are on Grownish, right? Yes. yes. I haven't watched. Uh -huh. So um, it's first season, right? We're yes. in the first yeah, season. First season. And your roles are. We Jasmine play Skyler. yeah, twin track stars mm -hmm. on the show. Um, and it's really fun because they're very attitude-y and sassy uh -huh. and blunt. Like, and you would never be like that in I real mean, life. I mean, I am like that. 
<laughs> but <laughs> like it's it. just funny because yeah. I get to like really bring it out yeah. on the show. And it was funny because like when we went to the first table read, so I'll just set up the characters. They're like these two girls from South Central and so they're track stars and they present to the world like, hi, I'm Jasmine, I'm Skylar. And with their friends, they're all ratchet and it's really fun. Uh -huh. And I remember we got the script and it was like cussing and we normally don't cuss, but at the table read, it was fun and liberating. And I was like, ooh, Jasmine and Skylar. Wait, y'all don't cuss? <laughs> No, Not but really. in that we Wait, didn't. What cuss planet y'all from? Hold on. Yeah, some people don't curse. <laughs> when? Yes, I mean, some people don't. It's not What's like it? a normal thing. Will it come out on a special occasion? Mm. Like the morning after the election. I mean, yeah, I mean like one Trump, Trump wins, oh. you guys. You didn't like, wake up oh, the morning, go, fuck. you know, no. fuck. <laughs> just one time, like, just when you looked at the LA Times, you're like, this is <laughs> some bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, she's definitely doing it more. Y'all 19 and 17, it's man. After the show, it broadened my horizons. Yeah. Wait, somebody just had a birthday, too. She did. Yeah, she happy 18. birthday, by the way. You're 18 years old. You gotta get to cursing, man. What day's your birthday? March 27th. It was yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, happy yeah. birthday. That's amazing. Yeah, happy you birthday. guys are living the college experience through the show. Yeah, right. yeah it's right. interesting. Wait, does your dad? I'm stuck on this cursing thing. Pops, you cursed? Yeah. Yeah, uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> what about mom? Yes. Mom <laughs> cursed. <laughs> so like, yeah. why don't you guys? Why, why did you guys end up well, keeping it kind of clean? Don't act don't fake know. now. Y'all wrote a song I'm, about it. Don't act I, fake I, now. I'm genuinely not acting yeah. fake. It just didn't happen. Yeah, it wasn't like we were shying away from it. Because we hear it all the time. You're so not offended like, by it. No. Y'all watch not... Love and Hip Hop. You can't be. Yeah, yeah we're not. We, not. I, we're not offended by it at all. We just like, oh, okay. Use yeah. other words. What's your yeah. favorite Ratchet album right now? What's your favorite hood, mm. Ooh, hood album? album? Just gutter street music. Just, mm. Ooh. I actually don't know. But I do like Kodak Black, I realize. I, mean, I like his music. You're in the gutter. Yeah, it's 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 hard <laughs> not to. You're in the gutter. You're in the gutter. <laughs> you're in the gutter. <laughs> It's in there. I yeah. get it though, because you even though you learn things about him, you're like that doesn't sound very good. That music, but then you hard. hear the music yeah, and you're like, no, he's. Really good. Good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's my joint. Yeah. That's my joint. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's, um, Domino's in the house. All mm -hmm. right, don't curse. I'm trying to. <laughs> hmm. New album out by the way. Uh, make sure everybody go pick it up. Joy Badass is on there. What was the lady you mentioned that's on? Carrie Foe. Mm -hmm. Carrie Foe. Uh, Gold Link. Gold, yes, Gold Link's Gold. on the album. He's yeah. amazing, and you guys wrote, produced everything. Uh -huh. um, how mm -hmm. is the attention from the boys. How's dad handling the attention from the boys? Pops, you might have to step in here. <laughs> Pops has his hand on his face. <laughs> no comment. Yo, he's, it's, they're, they're adults. I mean, he can only do so much. You, you got daughters? <laughs> You don't have eighteen year old daughter. Not yet, but I'm, I'm, but I'm prepping. Shawnee still believes his eighteen year old daughter have a Facebook. You better exactly. watch your grownish <laughs> My daughter's a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? She's twenty. She's a virgin. Yes. Okay. No social media. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. Stick it to it. Uh, how are how are your DMs on IG? How how are the guys I acting mean, in there? The DMs, we don't really look at them, but when we do, I mean, there's messages, but we're focused on music, so. Yeah. Great answer. Yeah. We have priorities. They are media yes. trained darlings. Yes. No, and you also, you don't even, uh, yeah, I, IG DM is, that's, a, that's not where he wants want. to go yeah. into that world. So do you guys date? Let's get to it. You should ask dad. <laughs> no, uh -oh. we're focused do on Do they date, music. dad? Dad, is dating allowed? Yeah, but I'm honestly, sure you don't have a lot of time either. Yeah, that yeah, yeah of course not. Exactly. The only time we have is for reality television and music. Right, so, of course. Yeah. yeah. So you know, right now we're just focused on ourselves, each like other, this, bettering like ourselves this. as young women. Good. Has yeah. there been a, has there been a relationship in the past that either of you's had where like you had someone kind of serious and the other sister was like uh, spending all your time with the new boy? Has that ever happened? No, no. that hasn't really mm. happened yet. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely, it's gonna happen. Oh, uh, we'll look forward to yeah. it on a future album. Yeah. That song. New song. Right? Yeah. Fake part two. I <laughs> thought she was my sister. Now who's this dude? <laughs> seen like this before. Yeah, yeah, seen this before. Tell us about the um the short film you guys put together to go with the album. Yes. Yeah. So with our album The Kids Are Right, we put together a short film and it's ten minutes. And so we basically wanted to show in a really like artistic way that, you know, no matter what you go through, you will be okay. Pressure yeah. makes diamonds, you know, and our dear friend Ashton Sanders, who was in Moonlight, we hit him up and we were like, hey, you want to play the angel for us? And he was like, sure. So he did it for us. And it consists of like five songs from the album. And it was so much fun to make. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Yeah. I just want to say, um, I really love the, uh, 
the way you guys present yourselves. I think Thank I you. think that you know for a lot of people we get inundated with images of black women that mm -hmm. you know are always in one sort of stereotype, and it's on the ch on the TV shows that you guys enjoy. I'm not a big fan of those TV shows mm -hmm. for that reason, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just really enjoy seeing young women like yourselves that a aren't making uh, some sort of uh, in a box type music. Your music is very alternative, as well as hip hop, as well as folky, as well as jazzy. Like I love that. Thank um, you. I love. I love. I love everything about what you guys are doing. Thank you very I much. I do want to say though, um, it's okay to live and make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's going to be a part of the process. And I believe that people love you guys so much, and they want you to be great, and you are great, mm -hmm. and you're going to continue to do that. Um, but don't be afraid to live life, because this Absolutely. this game, when the intensity picks up. You know, so does the scrutiny, mm -hmm. so does the pressure, so does the pressure to deliver. Well, and there is also that danger then too that we've seen with so many artists who they start very young and they're yeah. on it for so long and then they get to 30 and nothing's ever, life hasn't happened yet yeah. and it could come smack you in the face. So really just, be okay. yeah. just be okay. Just be okay. That's all. That's the kids are all right. Yeah. The kids are the kids on the kids. Are all right. <laughs> Sometimes adults ain't all right though. <laughs> and that's because they try to put too much pressure yeah. on themselves. Mm -hmm. So yes. when you do the album, the adults are all right, yeah. we'll, we'll feel good, all right? Got it. All right. Thank you guys you. give it up for Chloe. Thank Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for your time, guys. This was nah. fun. Thank you.